to understand in more detail the different categories of differences. Right, so static budget, we want to compare these two. Static budget basically is what we learned in the previous chapter, master budget. So what it means is that we set a specific level of units that we expect to sell for next season. Remember last chapter we listed four months of expected units of sales, expected variable expenses, fixed expenses, and of course there's also other areas of budget that we did. Operating budgets, financial budgets, right? So master budget really, we only set a certain level of sales for each and every month. So that's why we call it static budget. As opposed to that, flexible budget, we will be listing a table, expecting that perhaps we're not only having, let's say this part, we expect to have 8,000 units sold. Flexible budget, we do it usually before the actual outputs is reached. So we may have 8,000 here, may have 5,000 here, 3,000, 10,000. So the only difference between flexible budget and master budget is that we set a wider range of sales outputs just in case static budget we didn't really meet this 8,000 units or actually went over 8,000 units. So we want to know in case only if there are sales volume differences, what will be the operating income for each and every level of sales. Okay, so this is done before actual outputs is there. And then we use this to compare against actual results so that we know we set this level, let's say at the end, actual results, we sold out 10,000 units. Then we just pick flexible budget, this 10,000 units category, and see if these two are the same. Okay, we'll get to the examples a little bit later, but for now you just need to know that flexible budget and static budget, the only difference is that this is set at a certain level of sales. This is set at a wider range of sales, expecting that perhaps we'll run a little bit lower than what we expected, or we'll run a little bit over what we expected, and what will be the operating income. So besides sales volume differences, everything else should be the same in flexible budget compared against master budget. Meaning if master budget expected $1,000 of fixed expense, Flexible budget would also have a thousand, regardless of the level of units sold. If master budget expects variable expenses to be eight dollars per unit of sales, flexible budget also expected to be eight thousand. We're just timing different volumes of sales. Okay, so flexible budget is just expanding master budget a little bit. Remember that nowadays technology are can help us to do that in Excel spreadsheets and budget management tools. It's very easy to just play around with the level of sales and we can have different outputs of operating income. Okay, so this is useful later that we can compare if flexible budget is different from actual outputs, then we know it's not just because of sales volume variances. It's also because of other areas of variances, like variable costs, like fixed costs.